What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in Michigan. So, so glad that the sun is out. It has been such a long time since the sun has last shown. I think it's been about two and a half, three weeks since we've had a nice sunny day. So I am outside today just uh, becoming a, a human solar panel. I love it. It just feels so incredible. And so, uh, especially here in Michigan when like nine out of every 10 days are cloudy, you get that one sunny day, it's like you better be outside. So I'm just having a great time today. It's nice and warm. As you can tell, I'm in a hoodie. It's not even really coat weather, which is just amazing for mid-February. So not complaining, we'll take it. Uh, so what are we talking about today? Well, we are talking about the atom bomb of organic pest and fungal controls. This is one of my favorite things to use in the uh, dormant season because this is the atom bomb. This thing will kill indiscriminately, but it is organic. And so when it comes to uh, pest and fungus controls on our orchard, we don't mess around. You know, we messed around and we kind of played nice for, uh, for a few years and we paid dearly for it. We have not had peaches like we've had two years ago uh, in two years. <laughs> it's consistently gotten worse and worse, and I just do not wanna risk uh, losing these trees. Last year, we used uh, this spray here. This is the Bonide Citrus Fruit and Nut Orchard Spray. Um, this is not a dormant oil. Dormant oils are wonderful, but they do not work quite the same as this does. This has a combination of sulfur and pyrethrins. Now, py pyrethrin is a scary word, but it actually just comes from daisies. Daisies uh, produce a, uh, a chemical that, um, you know, when, when they harvest all these daisies up, they crush them down, they extract this, uh, this chemical called pyrethrin, and it essentially uh, halts the sexual reproduction of any, uh, of any insects. It also um, will, uh, it'll also kill off any eggs as well. And then the sulfur, actually acts as a, uh, as a fungicide. We kind of use it as like a, like a two-in-one spray uh, to really combat fungus and insects. So we're gonna be using it today because the sun is out, which is important, and it's dry, another really important thing. Um, here in Michigan, February, kind of mid to late February is when we start applying this, and we'll use it every three weeks. Uh, so once every three weeks until the buds form. Once the buds open up, we stop. And the reason why is because this will kill pollinators. I am not an advocate of killing pollinators, so don't think that I am, but uh, you do really have to walk that fine balance because the thing is, is that the pests that attack our, uh, our peach trees, they don't, they don't stop at anything until the tree is absolutely dead. And so because these are absolutely beautiful, because they're so productive, I have to take things to the highest measure possible. And that's why I use this during dormant season because there's not ladybugs out. There are not honeybees out. There are not the uh, you know the beneficial insects that uh, that I care about. All of those are they're you know they're under rocks. They're in leaf piles. They're you know uh, they're they're in areas other than our fruit trees. So the first thing you want to do is get upwind. You don't want to be spraying this back into your face. So get upwind of where you're going to spray, and then all you want to do is just spray until the uh, until the limbs are dripping. You want to make sure you cover the tree very. Uh, you know, very liberally. You don't want to just uh, just kind of spritz this on. You really want to make sure you get a good amount of it, and make sure to spray the trunk as well. Anywhere where you can see those those lesions, those kind of uh, those open wounds from the canker, spray those. Uh, make sure you get little uh, cracks and crevices in between where um, bark can kind of create a fold. Anywhere where you can create a fold, there's also protection for insects. So you want to. Um, kind of come in here and get all of that. Also very, very important, get the base. The base is very important because that usually stays uh, thawed. And when it stays thawed, it allows for um, burrowing insects to come out of dormancy, crawl down the trunk, and uh, actually burrow into the soil. So you wanna spray the soil line as well, spray the trunk and all of the branches. Now, I know I'm gonna get this question, what is it you know, what other stuff does it kill? Well, this will kill aphids. This will kill white fly. This will kill pretty much anything you spray it on. That's kind of why I call it the atom bomb. It kind of just kills indiscriminately. And that's why you have to use it as a dormant spray because it will kill literally everything. Another quick tip is if you're spraying for the oriental fruit moth, like we are on our peach trees, any stone fruits can get the oriental fruit moth. What you want to do is you want to focus on the tips of branches. That's where the oriental fruit moth burrows. And so it will burrow down in the trunk as well. 
but where it's more commonly found are the, uh, the, the branch tips. That's what causes the flagging during the main growing season is because they burrow into the tips and then when they burrow in, it causes the rest of the branch to fall down. So um, yeah, just wanna focus on the tips and you're gonna be good. This has taken me all of maybe five minutes or so for, for this many trees. Um, obviously if you have more trees, it's gonna take a little longer, but it takes almost nothing just to mix this stuff up, spray the tree down and uh, protect it because these are really valuable assets. You know, fruit trees, if you keep them healthy, keep them producing, they'll grow and keep producing more and more each year. And uh, on a good year, these fruit trees can produce 20, 30 pounds of peaches on a single tree or more. Uh, but you know, these are, uh, these are definitely not something you just want to, uh, to kind of play around with because there are, you know, there are definitely some, some good alternatives to what I'm using that are not as harmful on, uh, on insects, but you know, you are gambling with some of your more invasives, uh, like your oriental fruit moth and things like canker. Uh, they don't, they don't really mess around. So you got to kind of, you do have to treat those a little bit more, a little more radically. So there you go. It is that simple to treat your fruit trees during the off season. I really hope that you guys try this. Now, again, I do know that this is not going to be for everyone. I do know that there will be a certain, uh, certain number of, of you that will oppose this and, and that's perfectly fine. You know what I mean? I, I, I've never said that gardening is a one size fits all solution. It's not for anyone. And there are many different ways that people garden. Some people take uh, a, a, no spray approach and they don't use anything and they you know that works for them they're okay with that uh, for me i tend to grow as as organic as possible but i will use stuff at my disposal that helps me grow more food for my family because at the end of the day that's what this garden is for this is not a living uh, produce aisle for the insects to come and feast on you know this is not uh that, that's not what this is here for um it's not here for uh you know just for my entertainment value this is growing food and I take that very seriously. So uh, I do what I can in my, with my abilities uh, within the realm of organic, obviously. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you do uh, try this if this is something that agrees with you. Now in closing, I did want to mention that this also is not just good on just stone fruits. You can use this on all fruit trees and nut trees as well as even vegetables. Now I would not use this on vegetables because if you're growing vegetables, that's during the main growing season, meaning you're going to kill indiscriminately. I, I would, you know, I would say yes, use this on nut trees in the off season, use this on fruit trees in the off season, peaches, pears, nectarines, plums, apples, uh, you name it, you name it. It's good on all of them. And so uh, things like fire blight on your, on your uh, apples and pears, this would be great for. Um, things like, you know, like, like I said, canker, uh, great for peaches, great for uh, plums and nectarines. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. I'll come. I'll come closer so I can say bye. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next episode, grow bigger, go home. Bye.